Hey guys, today we're gonna play some chess. This is Fidel Master Michel, and in this video I will be playing and commenting, trying to explain everything that happens on the board and everything I think. Keep watching. Okay, so I'm playing as white here and I play English, one of my favorite opponents. And here I play knight c3. Well, e6, in this position, this is something I've studied. I like this line of e4. Avoiding d5 or trying to avoid d5. Okay, he plays c5, and I remember a line here with e5. I like this line. So I have seen a four here as well, but this line with e5 is looking very well. Yeah, e5, knight goes to g8, and here I play knight f3 d4. Okay, I think it's like this. Okay, knight f3 and d4 here. Okay. Takes I take. I'm losing one pawn here, but that's more or less fine. And in this position, I think the best move is a uh, knight b5. Okay, just one second. So knight b5 or bishop f4. Okay, knight b5, I think. Well, I don't remember very well, but I cannot think too much. I have ideas here like bishop f4. Yeah, probably was bishop f4 first. I don't remember very well. Okay, d6. Well, I'm thinking some c5 here. This is something I have a study, but I don't really remember the theory in this line, so... I'm thinking c5, he takes bishop f4, this is very interesting. Okay, I'm not sure what is going to happen, but uh, I will play c5, for, uh, thinking of bishop f4 in the next. The idea is that I'm attacking the knight, and also attacking knight c7, or threatening knight c7 if the knight moves. So it's very unclear, I cannot think too much, actually I have been thinking too much already for a 3 minutes to seconds uh, increment game. So I had to play a little, you know, without being sure about this. Okay, after f6, I just take here, and then I'm shaking here, yeah. This position is the position I think I've studied, yeah. Um, what should be better here? Yeah, just take, and after the capture, I can play queen h5. If he plays g6, I'm taking, and I'm threatening knight c7, and I'm also threatening queen h8. Another move here is king e7, but it's looking very bad. Okay, king e7. Um, of course, I can take here. I'm thinking rook d1 first. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, rook d1 looks good. I'm improving the rook and getting the tempo, so why not? I can play queen a5, and then I can take the pawn. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so now I can take the pawn. Also, I'm thinking of knight d6. Because then I'm threatening check or check. That's another interesting move. So... Yeah, yeah, I'm playing knight d6 here. I like this move too much not to play it. He can play g6, then I take and then he can play knight f6. That's probably the best way to play as black here. Okay, I take on e5, and then he plays knight f6, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Well, there is this clear move, bishop c4, 
because now I'm taking and taking only six. Okay, bishop g7. Or if I take, this is winning, right? Okay, knight takes bishop. He has some discovered, but knight takes bishop. Uh, he's winning. The discovered moves he can play are not really strong. Okay, well, uh, in this game, as I said, I don't remember the theory. This, this is a theoretical position. Okay, the idea is that if he moves the knight and play knight c7, and if he trades queen, I'm threatening knight c7, also threatening the knight, so this position is very complicated for black. He's playing f6, and then uh, this is also winning. I mean, this is also very well. I just take. Okay. So, in this position, probably the right move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The right move here is a6. a6, yeah, yeah. And then knight d6. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember now the theory. Queen takes. So here, I check. I play rook d1 because I'm improving and getting a tempo. And now, uh, I can't take, of course, but this knight d6 is looking good because I'm getting closer to the king. I have threats over here. So he's playing here, like uh, g6. Which I think is the only way to stop some of these checks. I mean, both checks at the same time. So he plays g6, I take knight here and then bishop c4, and this is too complicated. And taking the bishop and taking c4 later. After a move like queen c7, I can win in some ways. But for example, queen uh, knight f5 getting the queen is discovered, is a good way to win. So I don't see how can uh, black defend uh, b6, for example. There is queen, there is this queen b6. There is this queen b6. Then I have some moves. I can play some some interesting ideas here. I was thinking of knight d5. I can always castle here, and I mean this position is great. I have everything I want. I'm playing rookie one in the next. The pressure is still there. All my pieces are active, so it it should be winning for white in the next moves. Well, if you have any question or any comment about what happened in this game, please feel free to write it in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Help my channel with some like if it was like that. Subscribe so you get notifications for my next videos. Never stop believing. See you in the next.